Good afternoon and welcome to the presentation of fast mitochondria detection for connectomics. This project is joint work between the Harvard School of Engineering and the University of Massachusetts, Boston. We are Vincent Kasser, Kai Ricky Kang, Hans Peter Pfister, and Daniel Han. Our research targets connectomics, where we take mice, rats, or humans, cut out their brains, slice it extremely thinly, and scan the images with an electron microscope. These images are of extremely high resolution, and each slice can be gigabytes in size, and full volumes even reach tera or petabytes. With such high resolution images, we see a wealth of biological information, but we are specifically interested in these dark circular structures that are mitochondria. Here, highlighted in red with a variety of different shapes. And the task of automatically detecting mitochondria has been well explored. Most works use Lucci's public benchmark data set to compare performances. The, that data set is also known as the EPFL benchmark. However, this public benchmark data set includes label inconsistencies and incomplete annotations. So we corrected these shortcomings and provide as one of our contributions the improved Lucci++ data set. On the left is an example slice from the original data set and on the right are our corrections. We fixed the boundaries, examples here in the blue and red highlighted mitochondria, and we added missing annotations as indicated in yellow. Our expert biologists manually corrected these labelings and then two neuroscientists separately proofread the labels. We then compared these judgments. In cases of disagreement between the neuroscientists, the biologists corrected the annotations until consensus was reached. We did this for the popular Lucci dataset and for parts of the Casturi 2015 dataset. An expert spent around 32 to 36 hours correcting each of these datasets. With the newly annotated data, we then trained a UNET that works on 2D image slices and outputs mitochondria masks. However, we were able to drastically reduce the complexity of Ronneberger's original unit. We noticed that over 33% of rectified linear units were unused and dead. We then reduced the number of convolutional filters throughout the network and replaced transposed convolutions in the decoder with lightweight bilinear upsampling layers that require no parameters. This way, we reduced the parameters of the unit by 93% from over 12 million to 780,000, all without losing accuracy. In fact, we measure segmentation performance on the original Lucci dataset and compare foreground IOU and IOU measures. The higher, the better. For foreground IOU, we report 0 0.89, and for IOU, we report 0 0.942. And our performance is very similar to previously reported results, but our detector is really, really fast. On off-the-shelf hardware, we can predict faster than the acquisition speed of modern single beam electron microscopes. Such a microscope can scan with 11 megapixels per second. Our modified unit is the only available method that detects mitochondria faster than the microscope's acquisition speed. We measure over 15 megapixels per second. And this is because the reduced parameter complexity of the unit. But why do we even need to be fast? Well, in connectomics, we continuously scan. If we cannot match the acquisition speed of the microscope, there will be a computational backlog that can easily reach days or weeks. Our method, operates in real time with zero backlog. In summary, we present a fast mitochondria detector with competitive accuracy. We also released two new benchmark datasets to the community. All of our work is openly available. Thank you very much. <laughs>